my name is Anna, and I'm here with Team 9072, the Tiger Bots, here at the Chesapeake Alexandria event. Um, we're really excited to talk about the robot, and talking about its ground intake and how it fans off up to the elevator, finding that mobilized scoring mechanism. Uh, this robot has already won at the Pasadena event this year, and we're hoping to see what they can do here at Alexandria. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual prize when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details. Kettering University's cutting-edge programs and their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, future-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu first. All right, so Megan, you want to start us off with your wonderful ground intake? Yeah. So through game analysis, we decided that our most highest priority would be those spike autos. And to get those spike autos, we knew we wanted to ground intake. A lot of our robot is designed around this idea that we understand that the human player station will be very clogged. So we wanted to have the most efficient ground intake to pass through the cup system. So we went with a very similar design to Team Citrus Circuits from last year. We had the pleasure of building one of their 2024 robots for our off-season event this year and found that their ground intake was something that we take a lot from and learn from. It's a very similar build, except that, of course, it's widened for the new game piece. We decided to go with Star Wheels on the top and Dead Axis on the bottom. We found that the Star Wheels, as most teams have found, have a great advantage in terms of they have an active compliance radius and an active squish radius so that they can grab much farther than they can compress, which allows us to nicely intake the coral and pitch it 30 degrees inwards into our actual pass-through. Can you want to demo that? Yeah. Alright. So, for our enabling sequence, we always start up and then <laughs> Straight from our pass through into our wide acquisition pass through. Sorry, we're going to take into our pass through. From there, we have two sets of beam brakes that allow us to know when we are acquisitioning the piece of coral. The coral comes through and then straight into our passive cup. Originally, our cup, which is in front, was powered. We were always pushing against it, but we found that switching to a passive model just let us one, shed weight, and two, have one less thing to actuate. All right, thank you so much. Right, next, I think we're moving to Caleb, who's going to tell us a bit about our elevator. So with the elevator, um, along with going for faster scoring, we have a two-stage elevator with a carriage, that, and we created hard stops at the second stage so that we can have a uh, very quick cycle, so we can have a hard stop at that L4. And so with that, we have the, the spool down here. Those were uh, custom-made in-house with polycarb tube and um, half-inch metal. Uh, end caps and that's gear ratio to a 2.5 to 1 and with that it's Dyneema driven to these custom uh, pulley holders that also do hard stops as well um, and at the very top just to make our cycles a little bit faster we have a weightless elevator with two constant force springs on both sides so we custom made uh, these 3d printed hubs that way it goes all the way down here and we have a, a second set up here that also is a hard stop and a pulley. Um, and we have this cross bracing to keep it structural. Um, and then, I don't know if you guys want to do the different stages, I don't know. Yeah. 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 What made you all decide to go with the, the, the Dyneema cord driving? So we did that because uh, for us it was the easiest to do a continuously driven um, elevator. And for continuous, that means that we got to do each one individually. So we got to send our carriage up first. And with Dyneema, it's strong and we were able to spool it up a lot easier. So it was an easier pivot to a continuous elevator. Nice. Thank you so much. And finally, we're going to go to Tahani. He's going to talk about their end effector. So our... Um, End Defector is a um, passive slam down uh, manipulator. Our original idea with this End Defector was to do a 360 flip around, which a lot of people saw at 
Pasadena, but after running that event, we decided that a better path forward would be to lengthen it because eventually we want to be able to make this active and be able to put algae in the barge. This manip right now is running at a 24 to one um, gear ratio off of um, this chain. It, it picks down, picks up the coral from uh, the cup, which is what we call it. And we tested a lot with different widths of the uh, manip to make this passive because we we didn't want to like initially go to uh, an active, a manipulator but now because we want to go to an active one we decided to to lengthen it and be able to uh, iterate on it later in the season nice and do you plan to make these changes before the district championship yeah we do this has been your episode of behind the bumpers with team 9072 from all of us at fun we wish you the best of luck for both this competition and the rest of the season thank you again for joining me thank, thank you, you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Kettering University's cutting edge programs and their experiential co op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands on, future focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual price when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details.